Hello, welcome. I'm Melissa, and today's video, we are going to do this huge unboxing. I know what this plant is. It's a Politiflorum. Somebody is gifting me this plant, and I'm going to give you an update on the other Politiflorum, the one that you guys saw in the unboxing video that did not go well. It was infested with thrips and had broken leaves. It came as a hot mess and just a super upsetting situation because it was supposed to be a special plant mail. I bought it for my birthday last month. Many of you agreed that what I received was unacceptable. I had lots of sellers uh, watch the video and comment and reach out to me and just for packaging and just the pest in itself. Um, a refund was the right thing to do. So I appreciate everyone who commented and left your thoughts about that. I did have some people get very angry that uh, I reacted the way that I did, but it was my genuine reaction that I shouldn't have said who she was. I should only have received a partial refund. She had every right to ask me to send it back to her. Uh, which I don't agree with that, but you know, everyone is entitled to their own thoughts about that. But I would say a majority of people were saying that the condition of the plant and the funny thrips uh, was acceptable to get a refund. I was not trying to get a free plant at all. And I still am not sure if I wanna keep this plant and even deal with the situation. And many of you said I should just like toss it, don't worry about it. Uh, you got your money back and I wouldn't even like go through the trouble of trying to rehab this plant and risk my collection. It's been in a Ziploc bag ever since the unboxing, ever since I unboxed it that day. So I would say it's probably going on almost four weeks or three weeks at least. And I'm going to share like what it's currently looking like now. I'm going to examine it again and just figure out like the next steps to take as far as rehabbing that plant. I just don't have it in me to throw it away, it's just who I am as a plant parent. I don't like throwing plants away. Uh, I just have a huge heart for caring for plants and I always try to save plants. I love rehabbing and stuff like that too. So I don't know, part of me wanted to get rid of it then part of me would be like really upset because I feel like I feel like the plant would want me to try and save it, you know? So those that understand that can see where I'm coming from as far as that goes. I was so upset with the whole thrip situation. I didn't care, like, like I said, about the broken leaves. It's just once you've dealt with a huge thrips outbreak in your collection, you never want them again. And those that have dealt with thrips understand that. So yes, we are going to uh, pause on that whole situation. We're going to open up some fun plant mail now. And many of you know, I also received another small Politiflorum. I unboxed it in a video I did recently. A follower was so, 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 so incredibly kind to gift me a Politiflorum because she felt so bad with the situation, everything that happened. And it is just the cutest little plant. And I'm so excited to have one that is happy and pest free. And speaking of kind gestures, someone else wanted to gift me another Plutiflorum and just, I don't know, I was just in tears that day when I was communicating with these people and messaging and it's just some people are just so nice. So this here is from Otaku Plants. So she reached out to me on Instagram. I wasn't following this person or anything. I didn't know of her or her shop or anything like that. But she's like, I watched her video and honestly, she was just kind of upset by the whole situation. She's like, as someone who sells plants, um, I would never like package a plant that way and she just felt really bad about what I received and she's like let me gift you my Politiflorum. I was just telling her like you don't have to do that that's so nice of you like I don't want to take your plant and I don't know it's just I have a hard time accepting gifts you know I just like I would I'm like I'd be happy to pay for it but she's like no I want to gift this to you and so yeah, um, here it is. And it looks to be like a huge box. Like this is huge. So I'm excited to dig in. This is actually a few days behind in the mail. For some reason it got stuck 
in the Jacksonville Distribution Center. I feel like that's been happening lately. I think she shipped this Monday and it was supposed to come Wednesday and today's actually Saturday. So it's a few days late. Um, so it's been in the mail roughly, I think five days. It hasn't been like super cold here. Like it's chilly. It's probably like in the upper fifties right now. I feel like it should be fine. So I'm really excited to dig in here. I'm really anxious and look at the cute little cat sticker. That is freaking adorable. <laughs> So I was super excited to get in here. So let's open it up. <sighs> I am anxious. It's a big box. So that's what the inside is looking like. Let me uh, move you guys down a little bit more. There we go. So you can kind of see uh, what's in here. Oh, there's a little heat pack down in here, like covered up by newspaper. Aw. Melissa, thank you so much. Hopefully this baby made it safe and sound. Aw. That's so cute. And there's like their little shop card here. That is adorable. I love this. Okay. I like, I wanna be careful getting this plant up out of here. I think it's connected down here to the box. Yes, let me cut this tape. Okay, it might be connected down here too. <laughs> It is, yes it is. La, la, la. Oh my goodness. I'm so anxious, I don't want to uh, hurt the leaves or anything. I'm trying to peek at it. Let's open it through the top this way. Oh my goodness.
Okay, I'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, let me take the fluff down. Oh, wow, look at that leaf. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That leaf is huge. Oh wow, oh my gosh. Oh, this is a new leaf here, look at it. I'm gonna cry. Oh, wow. It looks so happy. Like, look how bouncy it looks. I always have to like inspect. I'm always paranoid now. Oh my goodness. See, like this is what I was expecting when I went to go open my birthday plant mail. Woo. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> Whoops, I did not mean to get upset. It's just like, I'm very grateful, you know, that there's people out there who's wanting to give me something like this. I mean, and then I feel, I like feel bad about the entire situation still. Um, whew. Look at that. Look at all those roots in there. I love how this is packaged. Oh wow, it looks so happy. It's like, obviously like well taken care of, you know. I'm gonna have to see what she is selling because um, now I feel like I wanna buy something, you know, to just thank her for this. I know, I'm making a huge mess. Oh wow. I love how chunky this is. That mix looks amazing. Look at that. Look how freaking good that looks. I wanna, I'm gonna have to ask her what she uses. That's definitely pumice, which I don't really use pumice as much because I have a harder time like 
not harder time getting it. It's just, I feel like I can only get the small bags off of Amazon. That looks really good. All the healthy roots in there. I'm super impressed. The other smaller Plitiflorum that I was gifted, um, I was really impressed with that mix too. It looks so beautiful. I am genuinely impressed everything about this plant and how it came. I wonder how much bigger this leaf here is going to get. It looks like this is the latest one and look how big it is. Okay, I'm going to take a moment and like recoup. I feel like I got like an emotional mess again. And then I'm going to go get the other Politiflorum and bring it out here. And we're going to, I guess, rehab it a little bit um, for those that are interested and in what that one is looking like. But I just, this is amazing. I have no words. I'll, um, I'll link her a uh, site or her Instagram down below if you are curious because uh, yeah I want to I want to see what she's selling because I just feel like um, this was just incredibly thoughtful so I have no words and if you're watching this and uh, just thank you so incredibly much you were so kind and so sweet and this means so much to me and I'm going to remember this always and yeah, just thank you. Here is the Politiflorum that's been just chilling. I call it jail, it's been in jail this entire time. I feel really bad for it. So I was really waiting on this new leaf that is emerging. You can kind of see it right here. I don't know if you can see through the bag. I'm gonna take it out here in just a second. Uh, Cause I know thrips like new growth. From what I could tell, I haven't opened this up any, but I kept trying to look at the main leaf. And as far as I can tell, I don't see that any more thrips have like appeared. I think I rinsed it really well and maybe they just didn't have time to actually like lay any eggs inside of the leaf tissue. So I'm like grateful for that. Uh, I don't feel like thrips are still on this plant, but you never know. That's why I was trying to be super cautious and not like mess with this. It's literally been like zip tied in here, not zip tied, zip locked in here. This leaf does look a bit yellowish. Like you can tell it doesn't look happy, but I'm gonna open this up. Oh, this smells kind of bad. This is probably all rotted here. The two little tips that I have there are yellowing. Well, at least one of them is like this one. Um, we're just going to peel that right off. I'm going to change this. This is such a beautiful long leaf. Look how long it is. I think there's something maybe fungal or something going on. Do you see how the discoloring is here? It could be that it's just in a, been in a bag for 
over three weeks and the roots are all rotted. I don't see like any, really any new roots that have formed. It's got a pretty long stem. When I did the unboxing, someone said I should cut it and propagate it. Um, I guess I could do that, like cut it maybe like right in half. Do you see where like the two top uh, roots are? I could probably cut under there. But I imagine a lot of this is rotted. Um, it kind of smells. I want to believe the thrips are gone, but then part of me is like really super anxious. No, it's a thrips larvae. Holy shit. Do you see it right there? It's moving. Oh my God. Okay, this is going right back in the bag. See, I knew. I knew, I knew, I knew. I knew it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that leaf off. I'm putting it right back in here and then I'm washing my hands and getting gloves. I knew, I had a feeling in my gut that thrips are on this plant. Still, I had a feeling. I literally have goosebumps right now. Like I, I am panicking. It's literally moving. Let me show you it moving. I don't know if I got a good close picture of it. I cannot believe there is thrip still on this plant. I don't know what I should do, you guys. I think I should just throw it away. But it's just like, it pains me to throw it away. I don't wanna throw it away. I like really hate throwing plants away. I mean, I've had thrips before and I didn't like throw my entire plant collection away, you know, but I feel bad for it because I feel like I should save it. It sucks that I'm like crying over plants. <laughs> Whoops, I had to change my battery. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's <laughs> worse problems in the world, you know, I'm crying over plants. I just feel so bad for it. I literally should just take, I have two new plutiforms. I literally should just take this to the trash right now and just don't even think about it. I squished it with my finger. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this leaf off and there's a new growth coming in. So, um, I'm going to do this all out here. I'm going to get a pair of gloves. I'm going to get a new bag cause I feel like there's probably thrips in this bag. Um, I'm not taking this to my sink or anything. I'm going to spray whatever down with soap mixture again, and then, uh, just get a bucket of water and like, I'm going to dunk this in a bucket of lukewarm water and like drown anything. And then like any of the rotted roots will come off. And then I'm going to quarantine it, I think for another three weeks and see what happens. I want to make sure that there is nothing from this emerging leaf here. 
I should have cut that leaf off. I really should have. Now I'm worried there's more thrips. If there's, if there's one alive coming out, then there's more. And I actually saw a spot. You can see it up here. It's hard to see through the plastic bag. I'm just like, But you can see the damage that they've done. It's really hard to see through the bag, but there's like scuffing marks. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm gonna get a few things that I need and we're just gonna try and rehab it. Cause I feel like, I feel bad, I can't. I feel like I don't have it in my heart to just throw it away. And it sucks. <sighs> but I have two happy plutiforums that I am just so incredibly grateful for. Um, I'm still worried now that thrips are going to be in my collection. I'm still paranoid about it every day. I'm like still checking my plants uh, often, especially in my dining area. I'm still like going over to leaves and like looking super closely because unless you know what they are and what to look for, it's really hard to, you can easily miss them. I am back. I'm putting gloves on. Oh, it's getting so cold out here. It's like six o'clock. All right, we got our gloves. Leaf is cut off. We're getting rid of any crevices that thrips can hide under, any and everything. This is uh, warm water and some Castile soap. Since the uh, plant doesn't have all of its leaves, it doesn't need all these roots. I'm gonna cut some of this stuff away because a lot of it is just gonna rot anyway. I think going back, I should have cut this, this last leaf off and the little stumps, just get rid of as much tissue as you can. You really don't have to cut all the leaves off on your plant, like if you have thrips. I would rather cut leaves off than have the chance of them popping up. Cause this, it is February, what's today? February 3rd, I think. And I got this on, I forget the exact date that this was delivered. I wanna say like January, it's the beginning of January cause I ordered this plant over Christmas. So maybe like January 5th or 8th. So it's coming up on four weeks, at least three weeks. So for thrip larvae, thrips larvae to be active after three weeks, that's crazy. 
Oh shit, I just snapped the new growth. I literally just snapped it. Well, I just killed the entire plant. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe there's potential thrips in the new leaf. Maybe it's just a good thing that I have just a stump now. Since we're down to nothing, I'm going to propagate this chunk. So I am going to cut, so this is our chunk since it's so long. Um, I'm going to cut under these roots here, like right here in the middle, like that. So now we have two stumps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this soak in this water for a few, and then I'm gonna get two separate containers of water, and I'm gonna let these hang out in water until I know like no more thrips are back on this plant. I'm gonna I'm gonna have this plant isolated for at least um, at least a few more weeks. I don't want to take any chance. And then what I'll probably do is pot each little stump into pond and see what comes back. And this I am taking out to my dumpster. I'm gonna dump this outside this cup of water and throw this in my dishwasher, but I'm not taking this and this entire thing is going in the trash just like that. Um, and then I'll dump this out in my yard. I don't feel as bad now that they're just chunks. I feel like I should just throw this away, but I'm doing it as a rehab education. Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna go grab two things of water, like I said, and then I'm gonna get rid of this, and then, um, yeah, we'll uh, continue to rehab it. So I have each little stump in a glass of water. The stump is somewhat out. I was just trying to get the root system in. So we're gonna do that one. And this is the top portion here where the leaves were. And that's somewhat out of the water. So we're gonna isolate these in a clean bag. Cause again, I just don't wanna take a chance of using the same bag. And this will be in isolation for several more weeks at least. Well, that was unexpected. I was not expecting to find more thrips. I honestly, I'm just shocked by what just happened. <sighs> just crazy. I cannot believe that there were thrips. I legit thought I was lucky. I'm like, okay, maybe I rinsed them all off and no more hatched inside. They didn't get a chance to, maybe I caught it early. I just had that gut intuition that something was still going on with this plant. I was right. It's always, always listen to your gut. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'll see what I can salvage and rehab back, but they're, they're staying in here for weeks. So I'm not going to open it or mess with it. So yeah, I'll just continually check maybe every few days, at least every week and make sure that there's no more thrips larvae that have hatched and get rid of anything that I see right away. Uh, it's better to, easier to manage with less leaf tissue. <laughs> um, they can still hide out in the stems and stuff and hatch, but the chances now that the thrips are gone are more likely, um, but still I'm not gonna take that chance and they're gonna be like this for a while. So thank you for watching this video and I'm happy that I could update you on this guy and like my plan to rehab it and everything. And again, just thank you so much for the new plants if you're watching i appreciate you so much you don't know how much that meant to me because now i have this beautiful florum of my dreams and 
it's like happy and it's going to grow and do well and it's not doesn't have pests. Um, yeah, <laughs> my dream plan. This this is like this should not be somebody's dream plan. A situation they should have to deal with. <laughs> So I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I'll update you again in some time. I'm going to film a plant update this month later. So probably in two to three more weeks, it'll be a good time to probably update you on this one. I appreciate you so much and I will talk with you guys again here very soon.